The world of biomedicine and pharmaceutical industry is rapidly evolving, and new research and development centers are being set up almost every day. But there is one place which silently maintained the leadership position in the pharmaceutical industry for several generations. It is uniquely positioned at the border of France, Germany and Switzerland. And unlike other Swiss biotechnology hubs like Lausanne, it has a large airport and is just one hour train ride from Zurich Airport. It is the home to some of the world's largest biotechnology and pharmaceutical companies. Welcome to Basel Area, which hosts one of the largest biotechnology conventions with 13 consecutive scientific forums and an exhibition which is completely free to attend. There are over 27,000 life sciences professionals working in Basel, compared second only to Paris, which employs 36,000. It is the home to both Novartis, world's largest pharmaceutical company, and Roche, which is the third largest. Basel has one of Switzerland's largest congress centers and is one of the best places in Europe for industry meetings. And once you check into your hotel, you get a free transportation ticket, which gets you around the city on a brilliantly developed network of city trams and comfortable buses that are always on time at no cost to you. As the beating heart of the pharmaceutical industry, Basel hosts Europe's largest industry-funded annual drug discovery conference, the Basel Life Sciences Week and MIPTECH exhibition, which provided a platform for many biotechnology companies to present their achievements for over a decade. Notable industry executives came to present at the conference, including Chairman of Novartis, Jörg Reinhardt, Chief Science Officer of Roche, John Reed, co-founder and CEO of Actelion, Jean-Paul Cluzel, and many others. Every year, thousands of industry professionals gather in Basel to attend the Basel Life Science Week. As the industry-sponsored event, it is completely free to attend, and many graduate students and young scientists from all over the world take advantage of this unique opportunity, since the only cost to them is a plane ticket and hotel. Multiple poster sessions and oral presentations provide the opportunity for individual scientists to expose the scientific community to their research at a lower cost as at other conferences in their home city. Basel Life Science Week keeps up with the most recent trends in translational research and commercialization opportunities, sometimes giving birth to new industries. Since the dawn of human civilization, people wanted to live longer and healthier lives. But only during the 20th century, life expectancies in major developed countries doubled and continue to increase. Exponential advances in science and technology transformed every aspect of our daily life. And now, we are at a point of human evolution when our understanding of human biology can help us intelligently develop personalized therapeutic interventions, discover new drugs, or reposition the old ones to treat or even cure complex diseases, slow down or even reverse aging. Some of the most innovative pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies are working on integrating aging research into sustainable business models that help develop new drugs, improve their current R&D pipelines, develop companion diagnostics, improve clinical trials, enrollment practices. To highlight this emerging trend, in 2013, Basel Life Sciences Week introduced a new scientific forum, Annual International Practical Applications of Aging Research to Drug Discovery. In 2016, it will celebrate its third anniversary and is rapidly increasing in popularity. The forum was originally organized by the CEO of Insilico Medicine, one of the thought leaders in artificial intelligence for aging research, Dr. Alex Zhavaronkov, and the head of molecular pathways at Novartis, Bupinda Bula. In 2016, the organizers decided to significantly increase this forum by inviting the CEO of the Buck Institute for Aging Research as the co-organizer. The forum is focused on practical applications of aging research and features industry speakers, academics who are ready to commercialize their research, and investors interested in this emerging field. 
In 2016, the International Aging Forum is expected to feature 30 speakers from companies including L'Oreal, Novartis, Human Longevity, and many others. Universities including Harvard, Stanford, Wake Forest, Albert Einstein College of Medicine, and several biotechnology companies. And while the Basel Life Sciences Week usually attracts several thousand delegates, the Aging Forum is expected to attract 400 delegates from all over the world. There are multiple sponsorship options available for the International Aging Forum, ranging from distributing marketing materials and a table near the entrance to the forum area to sponsored tours. Forum sponsorship helps keep the conference free to attend while ensuring highest quality standards and outstanding science. Previous forum sponsors included the non-profit organization, the Biogerontology Research Foundation, pharmaceutical companies including Novartis, innovative venture funds including Deep Knowledge Ventures, and bioinformatics companies including In Silico Medicine. Please contact the conference organizers to receive sponsorship materials and take part in this important event.